guys it's Elena and welcome back to my channel so for today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys a diaper bag a diaper backpack that I had ordered um, there's only like a handful of YouTube videos about this bag so I thought it would be a good idea for me to do one and just to kind of get out there more because I like to when I'm about to buy something I like to go on YouTube and try to find a video about it just so that I can see it um, you know all that jazz and there aren't really that many or that great quality of the videos out there um so i thought that i would do one just to kind of add to the ones that are already there um and kind of show off stuff that i wish they were in the videos that i did see so it just came literally a couple of minutes ago they didn't even ring my doorbell so i have been stocking it all week um it's in this big bag from ups <clears throat> so i ordered it on the 14th um and today is the 18th i think so it came relatively quickly i'm very happy about that i love fast shipping but this is the bays diaper backpack um and i do believe that this company is owned by one of the um girls from what's it called pretty little liars i think i don't watch the show i've never seen it my sister's obsessed with it but i heard somebody say that um so anyway i <laughs> thought i would just throw that out there i'm gonna go ahead and open this and then show you the bag all right and we are back and i have the bag right here it's really big so i have to kind of push myself back out of the view of the camera um but this is a gigantic bag oh it smells so good i love the smell of like new stuff especially bags and shoes if you know what i mean they have that like particular smell and it's just it just smells so good okay let me stop being weird um okay so <laughs> this bag is really pricey um if you are um worried about you know pricing obviously you can find a really cheap backpack somewhere and just use that as a diaper bag i got this one because one i'm super bougie and two this is my first baby so i kind of just wanted to go like all out and just get like the best stuff like i literally i got a nest dig crib which i do want to talk to you guys about and show you um one day but it's basically like a three in one it's a bassinet a crib and a toddler bed so you get a really big bang for your buck there i got this ibex gazelle stroller like i've just i've just gotten I've gone all out with the baby stuff already and I know it's a little crazy but if you can afford to do it and it makes you happy then just do it and that's what I did with this bag. I splurged on it. Another cool thing though they do have afterpay so if you really really want this bag but you don't want to drop the whole price which I can't think of um, the price off the top of my head so I will put it on a screen um, but if you don't want to drop that big price um, right away then you can just do afterpay which splits it into for payments and that does make it a little bit easier for you um to afford it but let's get into this bag because that's why you're here it is super big like i said it has a zipper here this is a little hard to film but there's a zipper here and my hand goes pretty deep in there so here's my phone for reference this is the 11 pro max and i can just put it in there and it's it's there and then there's still space in here to put like some other stuff it does have two of these really big side pockets and they're really deep so you can put whatever you want to put in here maybe a water bottle or something and then there is a pocket right here in the front so you could throw your phone in here to be easily accessible and it has a little magnet closure here so it does clothes on its own on the back here this company is like a traveling type of company they sell luggage so this pocket here can be used as a pocket or you can unzip it and you can put it on your luggage if you're traveling like with baby or something this also has you know adjustable straps of course because it is a backpack and then a carrying handle um, and it does have these little thingies here for stroller straps i do want to mention real quick before i open the bag that i do like the way that the zippers and everything feels it feels high quality definitely getting your money's worth with this bag so i'm just going to unzip it and then it does open up like a doctor bag this is how it looks on the inside it's a really big deep bag 
Um, there is some stuff in here, so let me just grab that and then go over that. Here we have this little bag. And I believe this is what they call a wet bag. You can put like baby's dirty wet clothes or diapers if you're traveling and you don't have somewhere to throw it away. And then there's some stuff inside here. There's this little tiny case here um, that you can put like baby's pacifiers in. There is a little teething toy in here. So here's the little teething toy. I love the colors. I love the way that it feels. Really cute. And then we have the removable stroller straps right here. I do really like this bag. I think that it's really cool that they include some other goodies in here for you. Um, back here there is a um, a little spot where like you could put a laptop or something but it does have a changing pad in here. Um, they have a changing organizer on their website which I'll probably end up getting um, just because it's a little bit more organized but this one has a little pocket here where you can put diapers and wipes but they would easily slide out. Um, the changing organizer that they have I think it has like a zipper there so that you can like store it a little bit better. Um, but it's nice that it comes with one. I feel like most diaper bags come with one of those in there anyway. Back here is deep enough and wide enough for you to put a laptop in there. On this side, again, it's really hard to see, so I apologize about that. I'll probably have to do a better video for you guys. Um, but here, there's a zipper pocket. Um, and it's very little, so you can probably just put, um, you know, extra pacifiers in there maybe it's a it's a really tiny pocket maybe you can put like if you've seen any of my um registry boxes like i got those little aquaphor diaper rash creams i could put those in there it's like right at the top easily accessible from changing baby on the go and then there's another pocket here that's basically the same depth of the zipper one but without a zipper so it's a little bit faster access if you want to put something in there and then of course on the inside there's these little pockets here like scrunch pockets um that you can just easily slip things in like you can put diapers in there blankets whatever you want to put in there um on the side there is a little cooler type area right here again you can't see it you can put baby's bottles in that little area right there and then on the side where you have the changing pad section there is a zipper area here that you can put some stuff in um, it's not too deep but it is deep enough where you can put a couple of things in there i'm going to insert a video now showing you the inside of the bag a little bit better with the lighting you'll be able to actually see the pockets and stuff so here is the front of the bag like i was saying there is this pocket here um, which is pretty deep it does have a magnet like i said here's the zipper pocket I can fit my whole hand in there, so it is pretty deep as well. And you have side pocket, which is pretty deep. Another side pocket. And then on the back, this is where there is a pocket here, or you can unzip it and put it onto your luggage. Now for the inside, we have the side pocket here that you can put baby's bottles in. And this is where the laptop can go or your diaper changing pad then we have a zipper here where you can put something in here are the scrunch pockets that i was talking about there is one two and there's two that you can still fit stuff in there there's nothing on the side there but on the front side of the bag there's two more of those scrunch pockets and then here's the little mini pocket without the zipper and then here's a mini pocket with the zipper um, hopefully this is a little bit better to kind of give you an idea of what the inside looks like. I also completely forgot to mention that there is this little hook here. You can either put your keys here or you can put this little thing on there to have easy access to your pacifier pouch or whatever you want to store in here. Just for reference, here it is clipped on. You can unbutton this, but I feel like this is probably too thick and it wouldn't really fit right there. Um, I don't really know where else I could probably clip this. Maybe the clip is so that you can clip it onto the stroller instead, or I could clip it onto right here so that it's outside of the bag and I don't have to open the bag every time I need to grab a pacifier or something. 
Hi, editing me. Um, so I just wanted to quickly come on here and like talk about the stroller straps because um, I didn't take the stroller straps out until after I had filmed the video. Um, so the stroller straps that you get with the bag are so weird. Um, I'm going to show a picture so that you can see what I'm talking about. There's a loop on one end and then there's a the clip on the other end. So I was just like, what the hell? And at first I was kind of like, dumb and I didn't know like how I was supposed to use it um basically um you just make a circle out of it and clip the clip part onto the loop part it you would obviously have to put it on the stroller like that it was just like that's annoying and if you go to the the owner's video where she's showing the bag she clearly takes out the stroller strap clips that are dual clipped like there's the clips on both ends this bag comes with our stroller straps i emailed the customer service and i told them about that because i i want the ones that had the two clips on the side because they do actually sell the stroller straps with the two clips on the side that she shows come in the bag so i was like um no i paid over a hundred dollars for this bag I want the clips that are, you know, shown that they come in the bag. Plus those are just easier to use because they have clips on both ends. Um, instead of having to shove the loop part through the tiny little clip, like I was like, that's ridiculous. Especially for the price of the bag, I shouldn't have to go and purchase easier clips, if you know what I mean. I, I know I probably sound like I'm complaining or whatever, but I feel like it's justified with how much this bag costs. Especially if you show that it comes with one thing and then you get something else, I feel like that's false advertising, that's my personal opinion, whatever, you could be mad at me for that, but anyway. I emailed them, they told me, they're like, oh, those are the straps that come with it, but as a one-time courtesy, we'll go ahead and send you um, the correct stroller straps for free, of course. So, um, that's awesome. I just got them today, and they are double-ended like they were, because they're $18 for those stroller straps, and I didn't feel like I, had, I needed to pay an extra um, anything for what should have been in the bag. If you buy this bag, and you get those stroller straps and you don't like them or you just feel like it would be too much of a hassle to use them then definitely contact customer service and they should send you them um because the lady that i was talking to on um that post said that she had gotten with customer service and they went ahead and sent her the correct ones as well so i feel like maybe they were old stroller straps and they're just trying to get rid of like old um what's it called you know, outdated product maybe because they came up with the better double clipped ones and then they started selling it separately but they're trying to get rid of these inside the backpack. That's usually how companies do things. That's probably why they didn't have a problem like sending me the right ones. But anyway, I just wanted to come in here and quickly say that. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that it was helpful, especially the part where I actually showed the inside of the bag a little bit better um because like i said i've i've seen other videos on youtube and it is hard to film videos like this so i just wanted to make sure that my video at least added something to the other videos that are already there so at least in my video you can kind of see the inside of the bag a little bit better it gives you a kind of sense on how big it actually is which it's pretty big i already packed it for my hospital bag which I'll be doing a video on soon when I get the other things that are supposed to be in there, but I don't wanna take any more of your time. Thank you again for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time with another one. Bye.